Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's fashion week in New York, it's Thursday. Fashion week usually runs from like Wednesday until kind of the following Wednesday, but mainly Thursday to Tuesday. Um, and at this fashion week in February, they show all of the autumn winter collections. So it's actually a perfect day to be showing autumn winter stuff because it's very miserable out. So after much deliberation and changing, I'm wearing a puffer jacket, a high neck knit jumper, with, uh, sorry, there's clothes everywhere, don't judge me. Um, trousers and boots. Um, my apartment's just gonna have to stay a mess until after fashion week, I think. But I'm very excited to be here. Last year, I said, oh my God, imagine I'm living here this time next year, and I am. And as much as it's nerve wracking and it's scary going to shows and getting dressed, uh, do you look okay, are you wearing the right things? It's still so exciting and it kind of takes me back to like my first ever fashion week that I went to in London and how excited I was to even be going. And now I've got some really good uh, invitations to shows and presentations, backstage, backstage access and events. So it's cool and I'm excited and I can't wait to just bring you along and to experience it all and share as much as I can as well. Here's a little look at what I'm wearing. I'm off to a fitting so I might change before my first show which is at 12. But um, I love this kind of puffer jacket look. So yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with photographers now too to shoot later on, hopefully. It's kind of miserable out though. But um, yeah, the excitement, the chaos of Fashion Week begins. Also, it's important to note the bag. This is my Bottega Venata dupe bag that I got on ASOS. I'll try and link it if it's still there. I just think it looks kind of like, like the puffer jacket and the bag are very much like on trend. So hopefully I look okay. <laughs> Hi, it's Louise Cooney. My first stop of the day is AM Pure for fitting. Um, I'm down in Soho kind of, and then I'm going straight to Oak shoot from here, and then to a show. Lunchtime with Jimmy from PLT. <laughs> We're in Dudley's down in Soho. Okay, I'm back from the show. I met Amy from Pretty Little Thing for lunch, came home and said I would change again. I have Christian Siriano backstage and then the Fashion Hong Kong night as well. So I'm wearing my boots, my kind of straight leg boots from ASOS with Zara cigarette trousers and then a bodysuit. And I have my Topshop blazer on too. So it's kind of simple, but um, I suppose the shapes are kind of cool. So yeah, busy night. I have like three events, uh, two that are Christian Siriano. So I'm very excited for that. That's like probably the show I'm most excited for. So yeah. Okay, we've changed the whole look. We're putting my hair up on a ball. <laughs> okay, I'm really leaving now. Siriano show. Oh my god, I look so tired. But that show was amazing. Oh my god, I recorded like nearly every single dress. Um, the shape was just insane. And it was such a cool one, like Heidi Klum was there. 
Um, so many celebrities wear his designs. But anyway, I am walking to an event now. It's like a jewelry shop launch. And then um, I have another show at nine, but I don't think I'm gonna go because it's back down there. It's just like 20 minutes away. And then like, it's at nine, which means it doesn't start until half nine, as I've learned today. And then it wouldn't be over until 10. And I'm jet lagged as it is, and I wanna make it through Fashion Week. So, I've done two shows today, which was, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you know with the waiting around as well. So I did two shows, one backstage and one event, which is actually quite a lot. And I have to shoot a video tomorrow, shoot some pictures. And I think I have some fashion week stuff too, like a presentation and a backstage. So, it's gonna be a busy weekend. Good morning, it's Friday and it's still fashion week. I'm just getting ready. I have to shoot a couple things this morning. Um, and then I have like a backstage later on and then a show, but uh, I'm not sure how I'll make the show. But anyway, there's bits and pieces going on. It's raining outside. I put on tan. Sorry, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> For the first time in ages yesterday and I feel so good. I feel so like nice and tanned and just you know, like makes you feel skinnier and everything. And I don't know if, you, if you've been watching my vlogs, you probably remember I went to a skincare event about two, three weeks ago for a revive and I am a huge fan of this brand. I have been for, oh God, I'd say a year and a half maybe. Um, I got it first in Ireland, I got their night cream and it was amazing. I've literally used it. I've gone through two tubs, two tubs of it now, but it lasts so long. It was created by a plastic and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Gregory Bays, and he was actually at the event. So we got to, I got to talk to him and I got to hear all about like the technology behind the products um, they're using like Nobel Prize winning technology to create the products and they're just amazing. I've been using the Superior Body Revive Nightly Renewing Serum and it's unreal. Like the difference I've seen, obviously I've been, you know, in January was very healthy, you know, I was drinking a lot more water than I was in December and I was exercising um, and I also have tan on now but like the difference I've seen in my skin, like it just feels a lot like tighter and smoother like the texture is so much better especially in winter i find my skin is on my legs and stuff it can get very like clogged i suppose because they're always covered up but i found this really really good so i've been using that i put that on every night so i've been using it about two and a half weeks now and then also this um the renewal firming cream so this is like a body moisturizer i use that every time i come out of the shower so every day and i still have like more than half the tub left i'll show you so it smells really good. It leaves your skin like so soft and just, yeah, the my tan has gone on really nice over it. And do you know when you find a body moisturizer that you really love? Yeah, so I did partner with them for this video, but if you followed me for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of the brand. Whenever I talk about my skincare, I use, I use their night cream for well over a year now and I found it really good. So this is their newest launch and I was so excited that they were launching body cream because I do think you should be putting as much care into your, your body skin as you are into your face as skin because you know what I mean like your neck your arms your hands your legs they all experience aging as well so I try and take care of everything as much as I can um and you kind of have to start in the winter so you prepare for the summer but anyway I'm babbling okay uh, I'm just very excited about that um I'll show you uh, the products now up close and I'm going to continue getting ready Maeve will be here soon to shoot some stuff Okay, three hours has passed and we shot a whole video on two different devices. We did pictures, um, we had a busy morning. My apartment is literally like a bomb hit it. There's clothes everywhere and it's really bothering me, but it's like I'm, I'm ticking a lot off my list today. Now I'm dressed for fashion week. I'm gonna go get my picture, come back in, finish off the video and then I have backstage at four, so I'll wear this down to that. But I have to have lunch in between then too. Probably, like I have, you know when you record so much, I'll have the whole night to edit, so I have loads of time. But it stopped raining, finally, so that's good. But um, I'm wearing this dress is, actually I can't remember the name of it. I borrowed it from AM Pure, so I'll put in the name of it afterwards. And then I'm wearing a blazer and a belt and my square toe shoes. So it's very bright, it's very kind of different. I feel like if we get a cool photo of it though, it could look really cool. 
So there you go. Okay, so I'm back from backstage, it was really cool. Today is a quiet day um, for Fashion Week. I have a thing at seven, but I'm actually not gonna go because I'm really tired today. Um, and it's looking like the weekend and then Monday and Tuesday are just so busy. So, but Fashion Week really is a week. I feel like any other time I've ever done it, I've only done the weekend because I've usually been traveling. But now that I live here, I can do like the extended version. But anyway, I'm home, I'm back in a hoodie and my Dyson arrived! I'm so excited. Cooper sheds, so I've been finding his like hairballs left, right, and center. So this is like just so exciting. I feel like such an adult right now. I'm so excited about a Hoover. These are the trousers I'm wearing today. They're from Eva McNamara. She sent them over from Ireland. And this white top with these white boots. I'm thinking possibly a pink coat as well. But uh, they got a little bit creased in the box. And they're wool, so I don't really know what the best way is to. Um, iron them. I'm gonna try this. Okay, this is today's look. I'm wearing all Aoife Ireland. They're like these kind of bright orangey red wool trousers with a really gorgeous top. And I'm just gonna tuck this in so it's right. And then some white boots. I love the sleeve detail, look at that, how cool. And I have like a white long jacket, I'll show you what that looks like. And then these jackets are Privé Revue, which I just think it's a nice change. I normally wear black sunglasses, so I feel like it's a nice change. Okay, this is the finished look. Little bag too. I am heading to Private Policy Show, then to the Rebecca Minkoff presentation, then from there to the Hellacy Show. And then at six, I have Brandon Maxwell backstage. I'm so excited about it. I actually was supposed to be going to a different show, but um, my friend who I met is doing like Dyson or doing the hair for it um, and she works for the PR for Dyson so she's like I can get you backstage so I'm very excited I'd love to see that show but even getting backstage for that one is cool so I'm gonna skip the other one and go to that instead at three and that's at four so it's gonna be a quick turnaround To my last event of the day, it's backstage with um, Brandon Maxwell, which I'm so excited for. I was supposed to have a show, but then when I got this opportunity to go backstage, I had to take it. But it's way on the upper west side, so I got a trek up there now. And because it's backstage, I didn't bother getting super dressed up. So yeah, that's it. I'm actually like they're very exhausting all the events, so I'm looking forward to being finished. Okay, I'm just back from Brandon Maxwell. It was like a trek and a half to get there. It was up on the Upper West Side. It was in the Museum of Natural History. It was my first time there. Such a cool setting. I can't wait to see the pictures from it. Um, Dyson was doing the hair and Mac was doing the makeup. And I saw Bella Hadid and I spoke to her. I didn't even tell Lorna this yet. What? I know, we're just going for dinner now. So I'm signing off for tonight. I'm going for a glass of wine. Bye guys. Good morning. It is Sunday, day four of New York Fashion Week. Today I'm just going quite simple. I'm wearing a blazer dress and I have these boots on which I love. They're kind of like the straight boots. I'm heading to TB presentation and then 
What do I have? I have a show. No. What do I have? I remembered the New York or the Nicole Miller fashion show. Um, so that's the plan today. Not too much. I'm not gonna stay out too long. I'm just gonna go to these and then come home and chill because it is the weekend. Hello, I'm home again. I had such a nice day of catch-ups at the show. There were so many people I knew there. I was sitting beside Erica. I'll put in some pictures. I met Kayla, I met Jasmine and Sarah before the show. Um, and then I met Michaela afterwards and we walked to the train together and got the train back uptown. But that's me done for today. Uh, Fashion week day four done. Tomorrow's another busy day, so I'll check back in with you then. I'm gonna just chill for the evening in my very fashionable comfy clothes. Good morning, it's Monday. Day five of Fashion Week. God, I really just feel like it's going on forever, doesn't it? I had a bit of a dilemma, like what to wear today. I borrowed this suit, it's like a high-waisted skirt and a jacket from AMPR last week. And I just like the color. Um, this is more casual today, but I feel like that's kind of okay because it's like the fifth day. And also like hoodies are kind of in at the moment. This is my new one from Pangea. But anyway, I don't have as busy a day today as I thought because some of the stuff that I thought was confirmed actually wasn't, which suits me. So I'm heading to Adeem backstage now and then I have a show, um, I forget what it's called, but it's in uh, Spring Studios. Then I have Veronica Beard backstage. I think that's pretty much it for today. So I'll show you that and then I'm probably going to end the vlog here because, or sorry, today because it is quite a long one. But I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying all the, the kind of backstage antics and seeing what it's really like. Uh, for fashion week here. It is like a lot easier I have to say when you live in the city because getting dressed like I have my whole wardrobe to choose from so it definitely makes it easier. I'm wearing my biker boots today too so at least I'm comfy for walking around but I better run because I want to make it down there for 11 and it's now like half 10. Okay guys, it's raining. I got soaked outside. But um, I went to the backstage, I went to the show and I'm gonna skip the other backstage because I just won't make it. It's already started and I had to come home to have lunch and stuff. I'm gonna take Cooper for a walk now and then I'm gonna end this vlog here. And I'll pick back up maybe later in the week or next week with the vlogging. But I hope you enjoyed seeing Fashion Week and what I got up to. And I hope it gave you a little bit more insight into how it works and yeah, the craziness of it. So thank you so much and I will see you in another video soon. Bye guys. <laughs>